All right, so welcome back to Jim Bob's Garden. Um, so today what we got, this is a lacinato or dinosaur kale is what I believe it's called. And you can see what happens is sometimes it'll split away from the trunk of the actual, this is the original stock. I just got this to hold it up. This is the original stock here, and this is where it's broken off. You can see it just kind of fell down from the weight. So what we're going to do is cut that bad boy off. All right. And I'm going to harvest all this kale. But what I'm going to do in the meantime, hang on. First, I'm going to get a drink of coffee. Ha. Get that out of the way. All right. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to cut this off in a couple different slices. Now, I like to try and cut it at an angle. And then what I'm going to do is cut another piece. I'm going to make them about six inches long, thereabouts. And then I'm just going to take it, and uh, I guess this is as good a spot as any, and just stick it down into the ground, like so. Make sure that you stick the downside down and the upside up, because plants typically don't grow upside down. And then what I'll do is I'll do the same here after I harvest off the kale. Now, I've done this a couple of times, and it seems as though the ones that have the actual um, leaves still left on the kale don't want to do as well. I don't know that for a fact. Though I think that it makes sense that if all the energy is trying to go to keeping the leaves alive, it doesn't have the energy to go to... Um, making new leaves and making roots. So we're going to take this one and I'll chop it off as well. And uh, where should we do? I think I'll stick another one right behind here. So we'll just stick the other one right in here and we'll see if we get some kale to grow. I saw this online um, and uh, Saw a lady that was doing this and it seemed to work well for her. She's got it growing everywhere, so it's going to be my um, attempt to do the same thing. And then I'll just let, I'll keep the good ones, let the rest of them just kind of rot down and become compost. And then the rest of it I'll take in and we'll eat it. All right, so that's how you propagate kale. It seems to work a lot better than growing it from seed for some reason. I've got it strung all over the garden, and so far it seems to have been working. Um, I'll water this in, um, uh, but we're going to get some rain tomorrow, so I'll probably just leave it alone. And, but you're going to want to soak that in real good. I'm also going to take what's left of the stock and we'll put it in water. And we've also got them to grow from, um, sticking them in water. So that's how I go about propagating my kale plants. Um, let me know what you think. If you've got better ideas. Um, otherwise, thanks for stopping by Jim Bob's garden. Like, subscribe, and let us know what you, you know, what you do. All right. Take care.